I knew of that was infused with superfoods and herbs. And I love that. I was just creating in my kitchen and it turned into something uh, relatively big. And I was exhibiting at you know all the Ross Spirit Festivals around the US and Green Festivals. And it was awesome, you know, because it was something I was really passionate about and I was introducing just uh, a really pure skincare line to people who had been using toxic and synthetic product lines that are basically everywhere. Go to the grocery store even, even a natural health food store. And the products have been sitting on the shelf for quite a long time. We don't even know how long. We just kind of put some trust. It's like, oh, it's, it's, it's there, it's good, someone's regulating it. But as I came to find out, as the business owner and, you know, building this budding skincare business is that nobody actually checks up on anything. Well, can I really trust the stuff that's on the shelf, even though it you know, says organic and natural and vegan and pure, and even um, if it has herbs infused into it and it looks clean, we don't know what it's, what, you know, what it's been exposed to in transit time from the time that it's been manufactured and prepared and then gotten on the shelf. And we don't know uh, if it was made with love, <laughs> which I think is a really big thing because intention. if you're, yeah, it's your intention. Like, what are you putting into it? Like, everything today, it's all love. <laughs> you know, a certain percentage of ingredients that you don't have to list. And again, that's really disappointing because people on the grand scale put their trust into big companies, big wigs, who say, we are in control. Right, and we're, we're making sure that it's safe for you. I just want to invite everyone to consider that how, how easy it is and how fun with the ingredients we have most often at home or that are very, very, very inexpensive to get. And there's, it's not that you, you know, don't need to go to the store or to any boutique or beauty shop or spa or salon, whatever it is, and buy products. It's really nice to have a skill set, though, that you have for an entire lifetime based on foods and superfoods and herbs, a lot of the foods that we're all eating, and not have to rely on other people. Because if you're putting toxins into your body or onto your body, you're going to age more quickly. When you're using food though, and fruits and veggies and you know the herbs and superfoods, it is much more easy to say because you can see the actual visual difference when somebody um, embarks on a cleansing program or a detox program or a high raw diet, organic foods, and includes all of this kind of stuff in just your regular daily routine, you can see the physical transformation, the mental transformation, like everything starts working better in the body. We become more vital, we have more vitality, we have a ton of life for us, energy, stamina, endurance, balance hormones, like all these things. So we start visually looking younger. And that happens when we apply it to our skin as well we can look better as we get older. And to say otherwise is like totally absurd and ridiculous. I mean, I really feel like we should be getting better as we get older. The neurotoxin and everything. I mean, if you're even using ingredients like that, that affects your brain, which affects your choices and your nervous system, which affects how you're going to eat, which affects your stress levels and your hormones and everything is connected. And then you start looking worse. Some people say, oh, it's inevitable. We start breaking down and this and that. We just get wrinkles. We look, you know, yeah. And that's just like a really negative lack mentality, like bad consciousness. It's like so many of us have bought into that. And yes, our bodies change, we morph, we evolve, we grow. But that doesn't mean that we have to like start like looking bad. There is a way to actually reverse aging to a degree for sure. And especially if you believe it is, or if, if you believe it's possible. If you believe you're just gonna hit a certain age and then off you go, right? It's like from there it's kind of like down and out. Well then that's probably going to happen, right? It's the same thing with your health. If you feel like, oh my whole family has you know, this disease and my genetics are bad, it's like, well, then you kind of buy into that mentality. So I get a huge paradigm shift for some, and it's a huge, profound difference in your skin, in your radiance, in the light that you give off, you know, to the world. This is like about you looking at yourself, saying like, I am the best and healthiest expression of myself. Exactly, I mean, physical beauty is great, but it's how someone carries themselves, how, how do they hold themselves? Like, are they confident? And when you start eating healthier, and you keep like progressing up the ladder into like these amazing worlds, it just keeps getting better and better. You start feeling so good that you carry yourself differently. I is like if you are taking really good care of yourself and it feels really good to you, 
you're walking around and spreading this message and this light and this joy, and other people pick up on it, and then the next person picks up on it, and the next and the next and the next, and before you know it, it's a meetup group, and then before you know it, it's like an online community and a Facebook, you know, everybody's connecting, and oh yeah, I know that person, even though they live like across the world or across the US, and everyone's like coming together, getting healthier and therefore happier, and I think that's how we become a healthy, happy planet.